good afternoon everyone and a very warm welcome to the lovely surroundings here at Pines House. Well, we are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. To give recognition to the beauty and worth of love and to add our best wishes to the words that will unite this couple on their wedding day. Serena, I want to be with you always, just as you are. I choose you above all others to share my life with me in marriage. I promise to give you the best of myself and to ask of you no more than you can give. I promise to respect you as your own person and to realise that your interests, desires and needs are no less important than my own. I promise to share with you my time and attention and to bring joy, strength and imagination to our relationship. I promise to always do my best to keep our relationship alive and exciting. I promise to love you in good times and in bad. I promise to be faithful and honour this vow as long as I live. Oh my God, you look amazing. This unbelievable. Thank you, so good at the makeup. <laughs> Mark, I give you this ring. Mark, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And a token of my love. And a token of my love. Wear it with pride now and always. Wear it with pride now and always. In the presence of our family and friends. In the presence of our family and friends. I promise to be loyal and faithful to you. I promise to be loyal and faithful to you. To comfort you. To comfort you, to listen to you, to listen to you, to laugh and to cry with you, to love and to cry with you, as we share this journey together, as we share this journey together, and push the ring onto his finger. So, by the giving and receiving of rings, and having made these declarations of marriage and a solemn and binding contract with each other in my presence and in the presence of all your witnesses gathered here today, I am very pleased to announce you are now joined together as husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
Okay, so I'm acutely aware uh, how uh, amazed you all must have been that Serena and I managed to make it uh, to our own wedding. Uh, I was going to say on time, but it was roughly on time. <laughs> and um, there was, I'm going to be generous here, at the very least fashionable lateness at the very start of our relationship, part of the origin myth, so to speak. So, boundless youthful optimism, of course, is what drove us to begin a conversation one Friday afternoon seven years ago and to agree to meet essentially a perfect stranger for a drink in central London just a few hours later. And where does the lateness fit in? Well, because Serena was still a no-show after an hour. <laughs> after an hour outside the Fitzroy Tavern with me nursing an increasingly despondent pint. <laughs> that evening together was one of those charmed encounters uh, that in the true Olympic spirit you come away from with a heady, warm feeling of having both been awarded a perfect row of tens. Non-stop conversation, laughter, a perfect alcohol-induced descent into an, ex <laughs> into an exchange of bad impressions and accents. <laughs> I think I juggled. <laughs> and, it, and it finished with such a weird wannabe alpha mammal display of Eating, eating an entire apple, core and pip, <laughs> in, in, in just three bites that I still don't know how we ended up here in front of you all today. <laughs> I distinctly remember how I felt when Serena belatedly, belatedly, <laughs> appeared from nowhere that Friday night outside the pub. And uh, those feelings are on repeat today. Uh, you really are beautiful. Serena, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And before we get to the rest of our lives, there's the next two weeks. <laughs> I promise, I promise, we are neither camping, nor are we off to Amsterdam for a magic mushroom binge. <laughs> Friends and family, please join me in raising a glass to my new wife, Serena. I was searching for an open door Looking for a peace of mind It's a feeling that I tend to get Won't rest until I make it right Couldn't stand the thought of losing her So you